I'm See? gonna bring it inside. That's my brother. <laughs> You're weird, bro. <laughs> I am challenging myself to make a video a day for the next 365 days. This is going to be the hardest thing I've ever done. You're going to witness my trials and my tribulations, my victories and perhaps my stupidity. But one thing is for sure, I promise that I'm going to give you the real me, no matter what. I'm doing this to encourage you with the courage to live your own life. A life of your own perfect imperfection. Okay. My name is Yahaya Baroa. I took it to and this is my imperfect life. Hey guys, good morning. This is your boy, Yahaya Barua. Today is day 113 of hashtag My Imperfect Life. I'm out here at my brother's workplace. I just want to surprise him. I haven't seen him in a bit, so I'm doing a book signing next door. So I figured, hey, it just makes sense. Come say, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? Hey, hey. how are you? Good, you? I didn't recognize you. <laughs> How's everything, man? Good, good. Good, good. Where's Uzi? Uh, he's over there. All right, thanks, man. <laughs> Hey, I'm looking for Uzi. How you doing? Good, man. Good, good. I'm calling you. All right, thanks, man. Come inside. Okay. Audrey! What's up, man? What's up? Yeah, hi, yeah, Baru. I know. That I surprised this guy. Uh, How's it going? It's good. I was on the phone trying to get my engine set up so i can uh, send it to a machine shop summertime hopefully it'll be turbo <laughs> can i get to drive it at least no you can sit in the passenger seat hell no never mind do i look like a passenger to you you do actually i'm an all-time famous <laughs> number one f1 driver now okay, i'm saying then you will up. so price is over peace out bye where bye. are you working there i'm actually i'm doing a book signing at the market i might come and get a coffee and make fun of you okay i'm gonna bring a sign that's my brother. <laughs> You're weird, bro. <laughs> Alright, man. Good right. to see you. Alright, man. Take care. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Anyways. It's the Barua gene, you know? It just runs deep. <laughs> okay, okay. You want to make money. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, all right, I'm out. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, bro. See ya. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy. It's the end of the day, and uh, just making a quick visit to my storage here. Uh, it has been a very successful day. Yeah. I just wanted to show you guys uh, this envelopes of my past failures in 2014. I decided that I was going to attempt to get Tyler Perry to read my book and perhaps make a movie of it. When I was young and naive, I didn't know anything about that. So my attempt was this. Send uh, envelopes like this every single week to Tyler Perry Studios. And hopefully they open and read it. But each and every one of them says refused. That's one. Another one that says refuse. Two. Another one refuse. Three, another one refused. Four, another one refused. Five, and six, and so on, and so on, and so on. And uh, I have more of this in my parents at my parents' house. I want to actually open one of these envelopes up and show you what's inside. So, yeah, this is it. I hope you guys can see properly. Here we are. Damn, man, it's been, ugh, 
It's been 2000. It's been 2014 since I opened this thing or sealed it open. Sealed it close, rather. So this is it. It's a copy of Struggles of a Dreamer with a handwritten note. And each and every one of those envelopes has a handwritten note just like this. I put my address on the back here. And it's dated um, March 05, 2014. This is what I wrote to Tyler Perry. Unfortunately, he didn't get to read any of it. And neither did he, of course, get to reply. Yeah, but anyways, this is it. You guys can pause and read the letter for yourself. That's it. Just wanted to show you guys, man. Honestly, when you're just starting out, you gotta do a lot of crazy things. You gotta take chances. You gotta just do whatever comes to mind just for you to make your dreams heard, just to make sure you get your dreams made into reality, man. Because at the end of the day, if you sit there thinking about all the possible ways that you could be uh, offending people or whatever, you probably won't get very far. You gotta break the rules. You gotta be willing to Shake the box, make some noise, ring the bells, I don't know, yell. My point is this, don't just sit there and do what is within the boundaries. Break the rules, step outside the boundaries, make yourself be seen. And that's why I did all this. All this, you know, um, refusal, it's all happened for a reason. And that led me to decide not just to give up the rights to my book and just say, oh, hey, third party, write a script, create a movie, or whatever, I don't know how the process work. Well, I didn't know how the process work at the time, but now I've decided I'm gonna be a part of it. You know, I wanna be a part of the movie creation process for my book. It's gonna take some time, I have a lot to learn, but I wanna be a partner in it, not a passive individual who has his book made into a movie. So, I don't know, I have a long way to go, and um, but I know it's gonna happen. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take a lot of patience, a lot of exhausting work. You think I'm busy now? It's gonna be even more busier and it's gonna be even more scarier, but hey, this is what I live for. This is my life. This is entrepreneurship. This is part of the thrill. People love roller coasters. Me, I love taking on challenges. So this is what I'm all about. This is your boy, Yahaya Barua. Today is day 113 of hashtag my imperfect life go to my website strugglesofadreamer.com to purchase your signed copy of my novel and i will sign and mail the book out to you guys have a good day peace hey gary good how you doing good good my neighbor he's a cool guy <laughs>